Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about mean and standard deviation. Already, I have posted many videos on mean as well as standard deviation, which will be calculated by uh, actual mean method. But this time, I am going to discuss a new method that is standard deviation by assumed mean method. The link will be provided in description box with regard to standard deviation by actual mean method. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, MSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students and students who are studying statistics in any discipline. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Find the mean and standard deviation of the given uh, cholesterol levels 200, 220, 240, 230, 280, 320, 250 and 270. So this uh, values uh, has been asked in uh, university question paper by Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences. The link of that question paper I have given in description box. So mean, what is mean? How to calculate mean? Mean is nothing but the average. To calculate the mean for the given raw data or ungrouped data, the formula is sigma x divided by n or summation of x divided by n. n is how many values they have given. How many values they have given? See, n value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So your n value is 8. Okay, so next we will find out uh, x bar. x bar is what? Uh, summation of x divided by n or sigma x divided by n. So let's see, what is summation of x? You have to add all the x values. You have to add all the x values. So what is the x values? 200 plus 220 plus 240 plus 230 plus 280 plus 320 plus 250 plus 270. When you are adding all the x values, you will be getting the answer. 2010 2010 so your sigma x is 2010 so divided by n n is how much 8 okay so 2010 divided by 8 which is equal to 251.25 so your answer is 251.25 so x bar that is mean is 251.25 Okay, so in this way you have to find out the mean. So after finding the mean, what you will be finding out? Uh, based on the actual mean, uh, you can find out standard deviation. But I have already told uh, in this video, I am going to teach a new method that is standard deviation by assumed mean method. Whichever is easy for you, you can calculate. Even if you are going to calculate standard deviation by actual method also, the answer is going to be the same. And assumed mean also, the answer is going to be the same. So, but the formula is different for assumed mean. Standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of sigma d square divided by n minus sigma d divided by n whole square. Where d is equal to x minus a. I repeat the formula. Formula standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of sigma d square divided by n minus sigma d divided by n whole square where d is equal to x minus a. So let's see the given cholesterol values have been uh, marked in x column 200, 220, 240, 230, 280, 320, 250 and 270. So put in this x column. Next is d is equal to x minus a. a is nothing but assumed mean. a you can take any value. You can either take 200, 220, 240, 230, any value but one value you have to take. So let's assume the middlemost value. I am taking for my convenient, I am taking middlemost value. So here the lowest value is 200 and the highest value is 320. So you can take 260 like that but here 260 is not there. So I am taking 250 but it's up to you. A, anything you can take. So after this video also you can compare by taking a different assumed mean value also the answer is going to be the same. So here D is equal to X minus A. So what is D? D is equal to X minus A is what we have assumed. Yes, A is 250 we have assumed. Okay. So 200 minus 250 is equal to minus 50. 220 minus 250 is equal to minus 30. 240 minus 250 is equal to minus 10. 230 minus 250 is equal to minus 20. 280 minus 250 is equal to 30. 320 minus 250 is equal to 70. 250 minus 250 is 0. 270 minus 250 is equal to 20. So in this way you have to... Um, 
minus it and find out the d values after finding out d value what you have to do yes you have to find out d square value so what you have to do square all the d values so minus 50 square is equal to plus 2500 minus 30 square is equal to plus 900 minus 10 square is equal to plus 100 minus 20 square is equal to plus 400 30 square is equal to 900 70 square is equal to 4900 0 square 0 20 square 4000 so in this way you have to square the d values and find the d values d square values so after finding out d square values what you have to do you have to add all the d square values so add it 2500 plus 900 plus 100 plus 400 plus 900 plus 4900 plus 0 plus 400 when you are adding all the things you will be getting 10,100 so this 10,100 is your sigma d square values next to what you have to do add all the d values so that you will be getting sigma d so minus 50 minus 30 minus 10 minus 20 you will be getting minus 110 plus 30 plus 70 plus 20 you will be getting plus 120 so plus 120 minus 110 the answer is plus 10 so your sigma d value is plus 10 so now you have found out sigma d square value and sigma d value so now you can substitute in the formula wherever sigma d square comes you substitute sigma d square value that is 10100 and wherever sigma d comes you substitute the value 10 and the n value is 8 so 8 values they have given so substitute in the formula sigma is equal to square root of 10100 divided by a minus 10 divided by 8 whole square so 10100 divided by 8 square root of 10100 divided by 8 minus 10 square is 100 8 square is 64 which is equal to so when you are doing 10,100 divided by 8, the value is 1,262.5 minus 100 divided by 64 is 1.563. So, when you are uh, getting, what answer you will be getting when you are minusing it? 1,262.5 minus 1.563 is equal to square root of 1260.937 when you are taking square root of this value what you will be getting 35.509 square root of 1260.937 is equal to 35.509 so standard deviation is equal to 35.51 i have rounded it off to 35.51 so one thing you keep in mind so you, you can do it by actual mean method also and you can verify the answer the answer is going to be the same or more or less approximately this closely related so if you are going to do actual mean method what is the actual mean i got yes 251.25 so you can use the formula sigma uh, is equal to summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n okay so this formula is by means of actual mean method you can verify it also by substituting x bar values 251.25 or you can use this new formula that is assumed mean method anything you can take here i have taken 250 but if you want take 220 also no problem take 230 also no problem any value if you are going to do also you will be getting the same answer so i request all the viewers try with your different assume mean here i have assumed what uh, 250 i have assumed so you can try with the different assumed mean what may be the different assumed mean you can take out either 280 or 230 like that any mean you can assume okay so in this example sum i have assumed 250 but uh, as per your convenience you can assume 240 270 whatever and find out whether the answer is same that is 35.51 whether the answer is 35.51 or closely related to it and uh, 
post your answers in comment section and what assumed mean you have taken and for that what answer you have got same answer only you will be getting if you want you can try it confidently i can say it or if you want to do it by previous method that is what this is actual mean method so actual mean means you have to substitute x bar this actual mean is what to 51.25 why i am asking you to do by means of a assumed mean method so that you can assume one value so that this 0.25 fractions and all without calculator if you want it's very difficult for you to calculate so to make the calculation easy only we are using assumed mean method whichever is easy for you you do it but the answer should be correct so hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos as i have told earlier the example some what i have discussed in this video is a taken from dr ntr university of health sciences that question paper link i have been given in the description box thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel